we are moving into a connected life in which a significant number of devices has been designed to bridge the physical world and, and the digital world. Under such context, all the user's behavior got a chance to be sensed to enable interesting applications. We all know healthy eating behavior is crucial, and keep tracking of what you eat helps you eat correct. For users who suffer from chronic disease such as diabetes and then the overweight, diet monitoring is even more important. But you need a tool to help you. So some tools have been developed to that user manually log the detailed food intake, which is quite tedious. And some researchers leverage AI technology saying, well, we do food recognition by the camera-enabled device such as smartphone. However, privacy concern raised. So in HKUST, we design smart utensil which can automatically track your food intake and your food composition without any user involvement. So what is the key idea is that the light spectrum reflected by the food actually depends on the food ingredients. So our system has a ray of, uh, of LED and our utensil modulate LED sequentially and capture the reflected spectrum. By analyzing the reflected spectrum and applying the machine learning technologies, we can recognize the food type. When you can conveniently track users' eating behavior and then also the food uh, composition and match with your measured blood glucose value, you can analyze the data and then identify the risky food and even the risky food combination and adjust to your dietary habit. So from this example, you see we are leveraging visible and invisible light, which is traditionally used to enable data communication. Now we are leveraging them to do the sensing and food recognition. An optical sensor signal actually can help us to sense more, for example, gait monitoring, gait uh, analysis. So by deploying a number of LEDs on the ceiling, and then also the corresponding sensors on the ground, uh, the nine key joints of a human body actually can be tracked. And medical research shows that the change of a person's normal work actually could be the early sign for some disease such as uh, Alzheimer's disease. And also research data shows that continuous in-house working pattern monitoring could be more sensitive to detect the future cognitive decline. So with the optical sensing technology we describe, we actually can help to predict such disease. And visible light is not the only communication media can help you to better sense our human behavior. There are some other ambulant signals we can leverage, including the wireless one and the acoustic one. So in our lab, we leverage the wireless signal and it can be helped to track the motion of the user by the radio signal reflected by user's body. So many interesting applications like elderly fall detection, gait monitoring, even the vital sign monitoring can be enabled by the technology. And same story applies for acoustic signal. We transform the smartphone into active sauna system which can emit the frequency modulated acoustic signal and listen to its reflection. By analyzing the data, we actually can track multi-people's breath movement and identify the sleep apnea event. So all these events cases shows us we are leveraging well type of communication media to do better sensing. And this non-contact nature makes continuous sensing possible. And also, we get a lot of sensed data. We can leverage the machine learning technology to make use of the data. So with this ambulant sensing capability and data analytical capability, we actually can let health provider see some invisible signs and be able to identify the risk condition earlier Doctor can design health care management scheme to provide better life.
So our idea cannot only apply for the health, uh, smart healthcare industry. There are many other domains under the smart city can be empowered with this sensing and data analytical technology with more and more connected devices. Thank you.